fallen angel, Sariel, the angel of eternity and trembling, and leader of the fallen watcher angels. Before dismantling the Book of Enoch in full, I will learn all that I can and teach you who they really are. In Kabbalistic thought, Sariel is one of the seven angels. The writer Origen identified Sariel as one of the seven angels who are primordial powers. Within Gnosticism, Sariel was invoked for his protective powers. The priest from the previous documentary stated, Magic is a spiritual power solicited to help us, and when irrational practices evoke evil spirits, it is considered unholy magic. There is a very fine line, but there are two lines which overlap. In the Book of Enoch, Sariel was the leader of angels who gazed upon men's beautiful daughters. In the days of Jared, they focused their descent on the summit of Mount Hermon, intending to acquire wives and lead men astray. It would appear that Sariel was an angel of the moon, the specifics of which he taught to man. Nib's translation of the Book of Enoch's names says, Sariel taught humans the course of the moon, the lunar calendar. A moon god and bringer of the lunar calendar, that does sound familiar doesn't it? The names Araziel and Azaradel appear in some variants of the One Enoch translations. The former words combine Sa'ar and God, the meaning of which is Storm God. Yes, that Storm God. Marduk also goes by the name Azaruludu, as the child of Enki, and Osiris goes by the name Azaru. If we switch the A with an E, it becomes Seer God, referring to the Watcher or All Seeing Eye. Surreal is mentioned together with Gabriel, Michael, Raphael, and Uriel as one of the angels who looked upon the bloodshed happening upon the earth. The Watcher over the spirits that sin in the spirit, which may relate to the life-giving waters, but the section relating to the life-giving waters mentions that the spirit had not yet been added, which may refer to Wormwood or Hydra. And yet again, Sariel and Uriel both share the title Asaru, and both are connected to creating a new seed upon the earth, to the new dawn of man. Under the name Samuel or Sariel, he is contained in Enoch's book, mentioned as one of the angels who brought Enoch into heaven. The name Samuel means told by God, which may be a simple variant of the word. In Sumeria, Mamu is the word. In the war with the Sons of Light and the Sons of Darkness, 
a section from the Dead Sea Scrolls. The name of Sariel is listed as the Ministry of God, meaning that this word is a variant of Sariel. Along with Michael, Raphael and Gabriel, the artisans wrote the names upon soldiers' shields in a tower during maneuvers. The name is also on the shields of the third tower, hence relating to war, like Phobos and Medusa. And we are told clearly that this is what fallen angels do. The angel Zuriel is mentioned in the conflict between Adam, Eve and Satan, where Satan is bearing Adam and Eve from the top of a high mountain to the Cave of Treasures. Zuriel was ordered to bring what he brought and give it to Adam, and they did so one by one. Curiouser and curiouser, I believe this refers to a comet shard. And then, God gave a command to Suriel and Salathiel, telling them to bear up Adam and Eve, and then bring them down from the top of the high mountain. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Satan bearing Adam and Eve is a very odd choice of words, as bearings are parts that assist an object's rotation. Zariel is also the angel who is sent by God to explain the dream vision of the Ladder of Jacob. Liber Juratus by Honorius of Thebes contains several translations that list Sariel as being the names of the angels of the eighth month and Sariel as the angels' names of the tenth month, Tammuz. August is the hottest month, the month where a particular demon has most sway. And October is the month of fire, Samhain. The Dictionary of Angels, written by Gustav Davidson, and The Complete Book of Devils and Demons, by Leonard Ashley, listed Sariel as a dark, fallen angel. The Greek magical papyri describes him as a deity called upon in rituals, using the Sauriel variation of his name. The University of Michigan has a library collection devoted to traditions of magic in late antiquity, usually protective magic and Babylonian demon bowls. Sariel is listed on a clay demon bowl, found at Seleucia on Tigris, 6th to 7th century AD. I have found that in origin, an angel is a demon. The beginning is the end, and the end is the beginning. I will be looking at these books in full, but here at Ancient Mystery, I look before I leap, as should you. Please share, like, comment and subscribe for more Ancient Mystery.